What do we have here? Is that another PHA? Take a look at the Palamo. Hmm. My guess is that this body is an Otten. Do we have a size? Got to be in the 300 meter range. Let's get on this. You can think of the Near Earth Object Program Office as sort of a CSI unit. Uh, we, we discover these objects, we try and determine what they're made of, where they're going, and just how dangerous they might be. In December of 04, one of the new discoveries was an asteroid uh, that later became known as Apophis. It's an object about 270 meters long that's going to make an extremely close approach to the Earth on April 13th, Friday the 13th, 2029. This object isn't a source for concern now, but back then it had us worried. So this is a representation of the Earth and the orbit of the Moon and the uncertainty region of Apophis. All of the points on this line um, are possible locations for Apophis. And any one of these dots could be the actual asteroid. All of the numbers that we were seeing were well beyond what we had seen before, and the threat level as a result was elevated. The impact probability for a collision with the Earth in 2029 reached the 3% level, three chances out of 100 that it would hit. When we saw the impact probability rising, we put out calls for um, others to look on their, in their archives for images of this asteroid at previous dates. When we got additional observations from the optical telescopes and when we got additional radar data, the threat level went to zero in 2029 and only re left a slight possibility of an impact in 2036. There is a possibility that after it goes by the Earth, it may pass through a small doorway or keyhole, I call it, and be deflected by the Earth's gravity into an orbit that would be about seven-sixths of a year. The Earth would go around the Sun seven times, the asteroid would go around the Sun six times, and they would meet up at the same place at the same time on April 13th, 2036. It will be important to look at this asteroid in the year 2013. We hope to see it with radar, and then hopefully we will confirm that the asteroid will not pass through that keyhole. That should allow us enough time if, if we uh, unfortunately see that it is going to the keyhole, perhaps to mount some sort of mission to the asteroid to deflect it. And all we have to do then is deflect it away from that keyhole. We don't let down our guard, uh, not even for a day. It's our job to monitor the inner solar system and make sure that none of these objects are getting dangerously close to the Earth.